That's literally garbage that you're now charging people for. Yeah. We just acapella the intro because you can't afford it. <laughs> Deep in the undisclosed bastion, somewhere in Holy Terra, it's Tabletop Talkers, where we talk about modeling, gaming, movies, pop culture, what gamers actually talk about. I'm Lord Commissar Wood, and as always, I'm joined by Josiah, the Heavy Flame of Friar, half man, half amazing, D&D dominating Darian. How are you guys doing this week? Doing pretty good, man. All right, we're back, in, we're back in the mix again. Yes. I love it. love being back in the mix. Um, we've got some more 8th edition stuff. Um, it officially pops today. Uh, there was we were up at our local game store to see if anybody's playing games. There was a couple challenges out there. Nobody played. Um, uh, just from what we've seen so far, since we're the main like 40k players, um, I'm a little worried about power creep with this mortal wounds thing. I really think that all the new stuff will have a lot of mortal wounds. Um, uh, with the way you can play any slot. Uh with some HQs, be it elites, fast attack, heavy support, or the obvious troops. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just be able to spam whatever you want. Yeah. yeah. Um, you, you kind of lose out on command points, but if you're playing these crazy units that deal out mortal wounds, why not? You, yeah, yeah. Strike command points. scorpions come <laughs> yeah. to mind. Resave your, you can re-roll your saves if you want to. With these mortal wounds. These mortal yeah. wounds that you don't get saves for. Um, these are a couple of the vehicles. Um, this is just kind of how I feel about the whole 8th edition when I look at these two things. It's how I feel about 8th edition. It's a reasonable facsimile of a better thing. They didn't finish building that Land Raider and put a bunch of grav parts on it. It 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 looks kind of like a Land Raider. If we had like a 360 view, you'd kind of see it has like Land Speeder kind of jets in the back. Mm -hmm. um, it's a Primaris. Um, like... Land speeder tank. tank, yeah. Okay. Um, and this is the Primaris. Uh, the prim Primaris Dreadnought variant. Um, if you notice, now seeing it up close, I get to see a little bit more of the detail. You notice how much rounded edges there are on it? Like even the pauldron's kind of curved. Yeah. It's got that. I, I don't. I don't like that aesthetic too much. Makes it look too like it short and stout. I kind of right. like the box. So you know how the Centurion is like a power armor dude in another suit of power armor. This looks like they put a bunch of additional powered plating on top of a regular dreadnought sarcophagus. Yeah. It's like, all right, we got all these old model dreadnoughts. Well, take the core, the drive out, and put it into a new tower, and we'll have a better PC. Looks like it got. It has like a <laughs> missile rack on the back. Looks like it has some heavy bolters, possibly, or That's just probably some the bolters. heresy arrow equivalent to like the rotary cannon or whatever, instead of it being yeah. an assault cannon. Nice little flamer underslung on it. It does look neat. There, there's a few parts of it that don't look too bad, it's but okay. it, it just it, I I know the 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 old like kit from like Black Reach needed an upgrade. It was just too boxy. This um, one looks more like uh, something from Mech Warrior. Yeah, it does. It feels like it doesn't feel 40k ish as much. Still pot belly. This this just looks silly to me, and the, the fact that it's called a repulsor repulses me. I'm really I'm really um. I really liked the game when I first got into it, and um, it just seems like they're they're going kind of back on some of their their. What's new is not necessarily good, and with it, when it comes to Imperium technology, and this is new, supposedly good Imperium technology in both cases. Yeah, and and, and it's also in an age where the Mechanicum refuses to build anything new; it's heresy. Yeah. So I don't understand how. I guess Gilliman's walking around saying nothing's heresy anymore. Yeah. Um, well, we haven't read those new book fluff books yet. Man, it's really funny, one of the only things that's interesting. But, yeah. I, as it stands, uh, the yeah. kits, yeah. like, on their own, the kits look alright as part of the facts. $75 or 80 
Rob Boy from it. Uh, it's more than a Land Raider. More than a Land Raider. Land Raider 66. I want to say between 80 and above. You got to get it, though. Yeah. If you play Space Marines, I think it's got um, upgrades for Sponsons. It's got Twin Link Last Cannon, another Last Cannon, Heavy Stubber, Assault Cannon, some sort of missile pod, some sort of assault missile pods. Like, why wouldn't you get this thing? It looks awesome. Yeah. And I'm the, sure it's and, got attacks. And I like the little mini turrets on his... You gotta get that. It's better than all your dreads. It it's does bigger. look better than Black Black Reach dreads. It does? It doesn't look better than the Ironclads or the... Or the... Uh, Contemptors. Yeah. Or the, the other ones, the, uh, the Venerables kits they have. I really like those kits. This one, though, um, I don't know. Yeah. A little too rounded. Anyway, moving on. Alright, so my first piece of news here is Pugmire. Pugmire. Oh, and it disappeared. Ah! All right, here we Bastards. go. Alright, Pugmire. Pugmire is a post-apocalyptic uh, fantasy role-playing game. Uh, <laughs> uh, it got released in January 2016 as a PDF for sale, and now it's finally in print, which is uh, why I'm bringing it up. That's cool. Uh... It's fun. The setting is after humanity has gone. The dogs and cats and some of the other animals evolved in their own society. Are different classes, possibly, for like different kinds of dogs? Like, uh, treat, think schnauzers are like... Like, uh... Different, di yeah. different, <laughs> different, dog, different dog breeds have a uh, predisposition towards different um, uh, classes like and job Shepherd's skills. Like a fighter. Yeah, that yeah. kind of thing. Uh, pug wizards. Um... I guess I could see that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it, it's really cool. Uh, they have all. They all look for relics of the old ones, which is man. Uh, and <laughs> all the dogs try to like live by the code of man, which is uh, a bunch of rules on how to be a good dog. Like uh, thou shalt go out and uh, fetch what is lost. Uh, and that implies they're supposed to go out and dungeon dive and, oh, really? and That's find awesome. the mysteries of the world. Yeah. And Dude, uh, I, I want to play this so yes. bad. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Dogmire? Uh, Pugmire. 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 Oh man. Pugmire. Definitely look for that. That sounds yes. awesome. <laughs> this, do you see this? <laughs> yes. This is incredible. <laughs> Alright? I forget they had a tagline when I was looking up the pictures. Oh, there for was this. a couple of the, there's a couple of taglines. It was like, uh, every good dog has his day, or every something. Every good dog has his day. Um, that's a, one of the rules of uh, the the rules of man. Every <laughs> good dog has his day. We are all good dogs, aren't we? Yeah, we uh, are all good dogs, aren't we? Uh, good dogs know how to survive. Um, it, it keep, it's going on. There's so little, awesome. Yeah. Yes. Oh man, I so definitely oh, look for this. Yeah. There's also an expansion coming out next year. That is the uh, Far Eastern Kingdoms of Mao. Oh, really? Meow? <laughs> oh. I definitely got to get it. With Karmasar Harley, uh, the kitten commander. Do it. All right. Uh, next up on game news. Uh, Magic the Gathering's got a new set com called Amonkhet, which is very, like, uh, as you can see, Egyptian kind of themed and everything. This is actually one of the art from one of the cards. Really beautiful. They they they've stepped it up again. Their their art in their cards. Wow. Uh, yeah. It's gorgeous. I'm wondering if Nicol Bolas is coming back because that looks exactly like his horns. Well, I've got a few cards. I'll just tell you about. I, I just picked a few colors. Yeah. And, and a couple cards that had stood out to me. Um, so um, in the white in the white set, uh, the Gideon Planeswalker. Um, he's called the uh, Gideon of Trials. Um, he's got an emblem for zero, so you don't have to pay any of your any of your costs. It says as long as you control Gideon, you cannot lose, and your partner cannot win. Your opponent cannot win. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, Those yeah. So cool. you can just take back and and set up. And try, and, yeah, yeah. Just needs time to set up for that combo. Here's some time. Gideon will help you. Uh, in blue, there's a card called New Perspectives. As it enters the battlefield, you can draw three cards, and as long as you have seven cards. Um, you can cycle for zero. Now, a uh, cycle is a new, newish kind of uh, attribute to magic, where a card in your hand, you can pay the cycle cost to w in land, you know, tapped land, which is usually kind of low. Uh, I've seen it up to five for some really major stuff, uh, but it's usually like one or two. Um, you pay the cycle cost in land, you can discard that card into your graveyard and then draw a new card. So nice. if you really need to, and a lot of cards can do this now. So being able to cycle for free can mean you can reset your hand. You have seven cards that can all cycle. 
You can cycle for free? Okay. I get seven new cards. That is really cool. Yeah, really insane. Uh, in black, which is one of my favorite colors to play, of course. You know, Edgelord. Um, there's one, um, Ileana's Mastery. Ileana is one of the Planeswalkers. This is one of her, her sorceries. Um, it says, uh, gives all zombies you control plus one, plus one. And when it enters the battlefield, create two plus two, plus two zombies. And from what I've seen in her set, everything is zombies. You can you can sacrifice a lot of stuff and turn it into zombies. Nice. Uh, you can, what, what is now exiling, you can exile cards and put them in there. So... That's cool. Yeah. Zombies haven't had a nice tribal set in a long time. Yeah, yeah. And Ile Ileana's is like set. Her whole Planeswalker set is dedicated towards That's cool. Zombie zombies. fun deck has nice. a Planeswalker yeah. now. Yeah. Right. That's cool. Exactly. I, my first, like, I need to buy, I need to build this deck was a zombie deck. An early, uh, early magic. And, you know, so that, that's near and dear to my heart. All right. Very good. All right. So it's called Amon Ket. So look, at, look for it soon. Check it out. Okay, so after about 10, maybe 15 years, and it did it again, uh, oh. after about 10 and 15 years, Sword and Sorcery is back on the shelves, or at least announced to be back on the shelves, uh, within the next few years. That was a really, really simple uh, dungeon crawl system, right? Yes, uh, it used the, uh, back last time I saw it on the shelves, it used the open license uh, system from uh, 3.5 edition D&D. Okay. Uh, and you can still probably see a lot of all, all the older books for it, but they further licensed out their version of it to a lot of other things. Uh, the War World of Warcraft uh, D20 system was based oh, off nice. of the Sword and Sorcery system, not necessarily the D&D system. Uh, okay. And they're cool. bringing it back. Uh, after That's really cool. Ares Publishing. Yeah, Ares, Publishing. Ares Games. Sorry, Ares Games. All right, cool. So back. you got two RPGs to look out for because they look really cool. Yes. yes. Yeah, definitely. All right, Darren, what do you got to talk about here? All right, so Hero Clicks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're making a lot of changes to Hero I mean, as you've seen, they've got a lot of figs that are lower point costs now. Yeah, that's been a big you change. Know, it's been spreading around. Well, they're updating their cards okay. to be simpler to read. They're cutting down on words, and that came straight from them, as they didn't want you to have to go through a page of text in order to see what your rules are. That daunted me for some of the higher cost figs. When I played, we had like 300 point figs and 350s and some of that stuff. And like the dual points, uh, you could play them at different costs. And some of the things were, you know, so many of the unique powers were so long in description. It's just like, man, this is daunting. And I gotta remember all this I remember this possession stuff. being a double page fold out on every single time the guy got the power. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And when, and when you... When you play a game that you're constantly changing your team, you're constantly trying to tweak it, in adding players and stuff like that, or adding you know uh, figs, it, it's hard to remember all that text that you have to do. So you have to continue to go back to your cards, or you'll forget. Oh yeah, I should have done that, and I could have. That was the reason I used him. Um, I really like some of the changes they've done. Yeah, um, me too. They're, they're getting rid of res resources, from what I heard. Fantastic oh, it's idea. about time. Oh, man, I, ever since the Infinity Gauntlet, I've been like, dude, this shit sucks. Oh, man, it's just too... It, it, it's, it was too too much of a benefit for too cheap. Yeah. So we're going to move into... Epic Battles. Epic Battles! And we're back. Alright, Epic Battles is where we take two different characters, pop culture, real life, all over the place, comic books, and we put them in an arena we design to fight to the death. They're made to fight. They're Loki Pokey Sticked. Um, they had their plot armor intact, so if something happens to them, this character in books or in TV, whatever, their media, or in real life, um, seems to happen to this person, it'll happen to them probably in this fight. Um, so, with that being said, my first fight is Gandalf Stormcrow oh. versus Medivh, the wizard of the World of Warcraft movie. The one who started the whole... The Orcs Guardian. Come. The Guardian of... Warcraftia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Guardian of right. Warcraft. Yeah. So, I, speci I yeah. specifically used the Gandalf from the movies 
and Medea from the movies. Because I know those two. Okay. All right? I'm not too familiar with Medea from the game, but I am I am familiar with the movie. I've watched it several times. Is, um, is he all possessed and evil? It's from the movie. So, yes. All right. So, we saw... That's why Gandalf's so adamant about this. I, I just got to... I just gotta put it right off the bat, Medivh. I kind of think so too. Yeah. And I want to say, even though he wouldn't have his font of power, so there is a point where he could be drained. Um, unlike Gandalf, Gandalf kind of seems to be able to just like cast a shit, but he kind of casts in an old way, in like, oh, you know, where Medivh kind of like can just shield up immediately, yeah, and he just makes it happen. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right. like, you can't miss him using magic. Uh, Medivh using magic. You yeah. can't miss it in the movie. If yeah. you are not looking for it, yeah. you will miss most of Gandalf's spells. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, the the little stuff he does... Uh, but Okay, let's, so, so let's say Gandalf, we have a lot more movies with him in it. So what kind of spell have we seen him... have we seen him do? Alright, we've seen him do kind of like a, a thing where he... he Pulse waves. Yeah, kind of I pulse guess. wave. Yeah, he does that. He did um, the lightning into the sword to yeah. smite those yeah. that Balrog's ruin upon the mountain. He, upon the mountain. He can make light. He can make light. He um, can make light more, like during the dawn. At, yeah, he uh, can bring on the sun. Boom, his voice. He has magical fireworks. Yeah, magical fireworks. Um, he can take uh, sticks away. With his stick. Yeah, yeah, he can. He can do like kind of telekinesis. That'll with his take thing. away Medivh's staff. Medivh's staff is a can. Big deal. Ooh, can he, King of Rohan, oh. hit him in the head and knock the fucking yes. possession out of him? He can because unlike uh, um, Medivh, Gandalf is not human. Gandalf is an extra thing from the gods on high. So he would know he's infected with the fell immediately. Yeah, and just and cool. be like, I need to, I need to. He's like, I release you. Yeah, and then <laughs> you see the fucking yeah. Sargeras flying but out of him like. Can Mist. Gandalf get there before Medivh can act? See, Medivh has like instant shield, instant. So like, Gandalf's right. gonna try and grab him, but he doesn't need a so, all right, all right. He can just do everything I, with his hands. This whole fight comes down to whether or not lightning cage that to he who can wizard talk who and to give the into an opening first like can gandalf walk up and gandalf talk his way up to mediv or will mediv no he wouldn't he, i don't think no. he would walk he knows he's the guardian yeah. of the place yeah. He looks young. There's a but lot more wizards in warcraft yeah. he's more used to fighting wizards he sees a guy with a staff coming up who yeah. isn't really taking care of his appearance much he's going to question. Yeah. Okay. I, honestly, I think the Fell would win it for him because... The Fell could just Ga suck the Gandalf, life out of Gandalf. Yeah, goes to fight and all of a sudden... Does he immediately demonic. come back as Gandalf the White and kick his ass? Mm. I don't think so because he doesn't he isn't need it for like the realm. Yeah, we're forcing this onto them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the little yeah. pokey stick. It's a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. And then, All right. So if, if he could get to Medivh, he could knock yeah. the shit out yeah. of Medivh. Stick then, to head. Yeah. Done. Yeah. And then he's going to be dazed, and if Gandalf still wants to beat him, to just whack him then. Yeah. Because he is really good with the stick and the sword. Um, but if he can't get to Medivh, which I don't think he can mm -hmm. with the Neither shields, and the way he can, like, telekinesis you against the wall... When he when he found the kid in the library and just turn a dude it turned him into a sheep. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Let me see Gandalf turned over. Medivh, man. Sheep. World right. Warcraft beats Lord of the Rings. Alright. Like that's a big statement. <laughs> Your first battle, sir. Is the Scarecrow from the Nolan movies versus Daredevil from the Netflix series. Alright. Um Okay, so we have the man who causes fear versus the man without fear. Uh, so, the fear gas would still work on Matt. Yeah. It's not made necessarily going to make him see anything, but he could feel, hear, still have hallucinations Every, that could be real enough. Yeah, I think it'll break down that barrier, that, like, concentration, and make it more difficult, definitely more difficult for him to fight. The question is whether or not does it make it more difficult enough for, for Scarecrow to come in with a knife. Or something. Yeah, because he's not a fighter. He's literally just, I gas you, and then hopefully you're done, and then I pour gasoline and burn you. Yeah. Um, 
on his horse. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think what might happen, though, is those hallucinations might cause him to see in his radar shit that isn't there, possibly. Or, you know, um, if his fear is to lose Foggy and Foggy runs in the door and then, you know, dies from a, you know, a knife wound... And then he's he's crying there at, at yeah. Foggy's side, kind of seeing him because he's so into this hallucination. And then, well, I thought he can see. Well, because remember that's why he sees in his was head. All it's upset. red. It's 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 a it's a an amalgamation in, in in his head from different senses. It's not his sight, but he can hear like superhumanly. He can touch superhumanly. It's he can smell, taste. It's superhuman compensation using yeah. all the other senses. In the, in the comics, he could run his hand over this and tell us everything we've ever written down on this table. Just because he could feel the impressions of each letter and how different they are from the other he ones to tell the what he actually wrote. The page. Yeah. Wow. He could taste and tell you what kind of drugs I smoked. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Insane. So, we've got a guy, but that's how, but that's how he views the world is through all those senses. Now, if he says so, he takes in fear... Hallucination. Now, all of that's compromised. And that's what he depends on to be so super. You know? Um, I actually think Scarecrow, man. Yeah. yeah <laughs> He's that's... one of... The, the, my favorite Marvel hero of all time. Yeah, we're not holding but anyone hostage. He doesn't yeah. have that drive. If it, we catch... If, he, if, if we kidnap him on a bad day... He's got day, will for days, but it doesn't... It, how many times did he almost die in the show? Yeah, and right, from like, simple stuff like knife wounds. Yeah, you know, and Scarecrow's gonna go. Oh, oh, the knife doesn't go in him. Stab him in the face. You know, through the eye. Can cut somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I'll find a. I'll find a soft spot. All right. Good job, uh, Scarecrow. Yeah. Fucking a Scarecrow. You bastard. Kind of mad at him now. A lot scarier on TV. Yeah. A little bit. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Your first battle? <laughs> BBC Sherlock. Alright. Versus Dexter. <laughs> Showtime's Dexter. Alright. So, is this like he's hunting him down? Yes, that and that's what I'm thinking, is that you introduce Sherlock to find this person who's been killing the, these serial killers. Okay. And so that means, though, because Dexter's thing is, he's always working with the cops who are investigating his murders. So, he would be working with Sherlock while Sherlock's investigating these murders. He'd be the the forensics guy. Now, he isn't directly, like, walking next to him, but it it wouldn't take Sherlock very long, I think. You don't think so? Sherlock would walk in, notice that... It's just how his stories go. Yeah. He would like, walk in and... He would he would go oh let me see the case and he would kind of act, he would talk about everything but the case and then right at the end they're like well are you going to investigate the case and he's like oh it's easy that guy did it uh, it's this 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 they this see, this I this. imagine something more along like the first like seventy five percent of the episode is a typical Dexter episode like we're expecting a British liaison blah 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 like I have to make all this preparation take care of one last murder yeah 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 blah blah blah, blah. and then we'll all be ready for him to maybe talk. it's themey there's like a British guy who's been acting up yeah like, yeah Ooh, a British investigator yeah yeah something all yeah. themey like that and then he walks in the door he did it. <laughs> <laughs> And then the rest of the episode is just him explaining. It's like why he did it. It's like, how did you just like, I used the internet on the way over. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I saw all the crime scene. I saw that this person, but yeah. Yeah, it would go Am very, I the only very, person yeah. that reads these files? Yeah. Dexter, <laughs> Dexter almost gets caught all the time. You know? And all it would take the is a single is, almost right there. And yeah, and yeah. the thing is, is, Sherlock can fight too. The other people that, that catch him, kind of, Except for that that jacked uh, dude from the army, uh, yeah. that military dude. That dude was he was he was probably pretty good, but he kind of got the drop on him. But you know, everybody else, he's kind of like they're they're not as good a fighter as he's potentially is. So Sherlock's like, oh, I know to hit him right in the jugular and then in the Adam's apple to the knee to the nuts. You know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and you know, uh... Watson. No. Cut. Yeah. I lost my thought. Right. <laughs> so we'll just... If we can jump out. Yeah. Right. We're leaving that in. No. 
<laughs> it's in. It's in now. All right, let's have a vote. Who Lee wants to leave it? No, I'm because just joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking, man. We'll cut it. We'll cut it. I'm just playing. All right. You bastards. <laughs> little levity. Little levity. Yeah. I, I won't leave anything embarrassing. All right, so. My last battle. Movies Harley Quinn versus Movies Black Widow. All right, now we both see that they're good at Hurricane Ranos. And, uh, and, and running the arm bars. And running mm. arm bars. Um, Off the bat, I think I'd give it to the Widow. Okay, the I Widow's got Widow. guns and stuff. She's be better, going to be better at them. Better trained. Yeah, uh, she is a gymnast, Olympic gymnast. Um, well, we've seen Natasha can also keep up with that. Yeah, yeah. So um, She's a wild card. She is going to pull some shit, possibly, that Black Widow ain't going to think of. She cut the brakes and run. Yeah. Wild card, bitches! Wild card, bitches! All right. Um, okay, so I want to give it to Harley Quinn, in all honesty, hmm. simply because it's how her stories go. She's on the rise right now. She has more plot on her right well, now. Well, this is a movie, Harley Quinn. Specifically, both movies. Both movies. There's a point I'm going to bring up in just one second. All right. I still think Harley Quinn is more popular than Black Widow. She is. That's why she'll get a solo movie, and, and Marvel will never do a solo Black Widow movie. <laughs> you know, I just think if she gets hit once by the Stingers, she's out. Nah. Yeah. It took three tasers. Well, then, yeah. Uh, and she's immune to poisons. Yeah. Yeah. Joker's uh. is... All, and all it would really truly take for Widow is a single solid hit with that bat. And movie Harley Quinn, shortly behind her is always a Joker hit squad. Just with machine guns. And even so we're not even, powerful enough. Okay, alright. Yeah. Uh, so, squads there? She's got a squad too. She, they don't come for her. They don't come for her because she's an agent. She always acts on yeah. her own. Remember, she's got shield. She got called but... in the field in the Avengers. Remember? Yeah. And they only to deal with the Hulk. They only gave her like a handful of troops. Yeah. Regular just schmucks to do, to get the Hulk to come. Yeah. I think Black Widow's beating her ass. Black Widow probably gets her in the stinger. She's not dead. But she's out. Widow's like <sighs> trashy horror or whatever, and starts walking away. But then the door gets kicked in, and Batman... And the panda and, guys. Yeah, have. and the panda guy. And they just start gatting up the place. It's panda and she ends up getting gatted in the meantime. Yeah. And then Joker comes in and takes Harley away. So she officially wins, but she still gets away yeah. and gets to go be with the okay. Joker. All right, I'll settle for that. Because right. the Joker never right, My last fight is... Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Versus the menacing Devastator, combined form of the Constructicons. <laughs> awesome. The Constructicons! <laughs> Alright, so Devastator's got a pistol. Devastator's got a pistol and various construction related superpowers. Yeah, he's got a he's got a uh, bulldozer foot. And his knee can shoot a quick hardening cement. Ooh, quick hardening cement. That All right. is, that stops other giant robots. Alright, they're lions. They're lions. Um so they could bite at the various things we talked about on... Yes. What's the size difference between them? They are roughly the same 80s cartoon height. Of yeah, they're robots. both... Uh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> equal, equal And size. they're vaguely made of the same amount of robots. Um, you know, initially... I mean, I wanted... he picked up the Eiffel Tower once, but once again, 80s animation. So we're just going to say they're the same height because I already yeah. ruined one giant robot fight in a previous episode by comparing. He does have that, like, galaxy sword thing. He does have the... The, the, the badass sword. Blazing sword. The summon, blazing blazing sword. sword. Summon the blazing sword! But does a sword beat a gun? Like... Can he block projectiles? I don't think I've ever seen him do that. Uh, Is he yeah, a Jedi? Know, that shit? Most no, of the time he's... they just can 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 they're trying robots. Okay. Now the blazing sword is some Deus Ex Machina Power Rangers shit though. Yeah, it is like a, an ender. It always like oh I cut through anything. What I in, think in the fight all the time. Okay. And well, that's just him. I picked a bad guy and a good guy. Ultimately, we with the plot armor in play, uh, Voltron will win in the end. Yeah. But I believe where Devi where Devi uh, Devastator has the advantage is before they combine. 
because the Constructicons can all fly because they're Decepticons, and they can, uh, in addition to being robots already, they can turn into their construction equipment things that have awkward, if occasionally Weird, yeah. useful, offensive abilities. Yeah. I got a crane on <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I can shoot cement. Yeah. I pick things up and put so them down. So he gets, he gets, he gets cemented. Yeah, he get one he's of the lines like gets down. cemented. The green one. He's the green crushing one. him with that, and he puts the gun up to his head, and he's laughing, doing his monologue <laughs> like, "Now you'll die, Voltron. Now, you, now your planet's energon is ours." And then he like <laughs> pushes him off of him, and then yeah. summons Blazing Sword and, and cuts him. Yeah, yeah. But like just twang. as they finish so, combining, they combine too, and yeah. it's like nothing can stop the. <gasps> yeah, that sounds fitting. Yep. All right, and Darian, your last battle. We got Nightwing versus Darkwing Duck. Ooh, let's get dangerous. Dun, 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 dun. All right, uh, <laughs> he's got a gas gun that he's got like all kinds of crazy gas. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so he could pop some crazy gas we haven't even thought he's of. He's got a duck bill fronted <laughs> motorcycle. He's got all the gadgets of Batman, <laughs> which are just duck bill fronted. Yes, all of the gadgets <laughs> of Batman with all of the in. Uh, invincibility of being a Looney Tune. He also He's a has more a shadow too. Yeah, he you also know? has a button that can summon Gizmo Duck. Yeah, he does have Gizmo Duck as well, which is a badass unicycle cyborg. Yes, with missiles and shit. Yes. Um, Nightwing is fast. He has <laughs> taser ended a scrimmage sticks. Yeah. Nightwing has a grappling hook. He also has a. He has shurikens. He has his shurikens and an assortment. Or rings or whatever. Yep, bird orangs. Yeah. Wing orangs. Wing orangs. Uh, he has a motorcycle, and he has he has very few gadgets as compared yes. to what Darkwing has. Darkwing definitely has them in the gadget pool. Darkwing but, Duck has hammer but space. Where are they fighting? In They're the Table Talkers arena. arena. Just in an, in the arena, so we're not basing it in any city or anything like that. Well, we'd probably put it in a fake alley. Okay. Yeah. So there's buildings that can't go in, but it's in an alley. Because they're both kind of like the dark, yeah. gritty streets, street level. Yeah. Um, we'd say Gizmo can't come. Gizmo Duck can't come. Yeah, because okay. he's got enough gadgets on his own. Okay. Without, without another partner. Yeah, and this Because is we a, could say, oh, well. Now, if it was a two part episode, Barbara. Gizmo, Duck, Gizmo Duck would have to show yeah. up. Yeah, and Gizmo. Barbara would come to help him. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Uh, so. I actually kind of give it to, to Gizmo. To Darkwing Duck? Yeah, yeah, Darkwing Duck. Me, me too. He's, uh, he's going to have some crazy gas. And, and you Nightwing's can't run out so of gas. so foolhardy. And he actually physically cannot run out of anything. He, uh, because of his nature, is a cartoon character. He just pulls shit out yep. of random. Oh, yeah. this gas grenade's out. Well, I'll pull out my blue one. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, I need, uh, I need uh, freezing gas. Well, boom. Yeah, it'll just, he can bring it out. Um, awesome. Where if, if we were fighting, if he was fighting like 69 Batman, I would say, or even 69 Robin, I would say Robin would beat him. Because they can do the same thing, but they always have the perfect thing for the thing. Well, it that, won't fuck up. Well, that'd be like uh, a character fighting a character who was inspi partially inspired by. We wouldn't have Darkwing Duck. If yeah, of course. Him. Yeah. Well, yeah, the shadow too. Because look yeah. at that. Look at that pulp. Look oh. at that. Mm, yeah. That's oh. good. Speaking of which... The the uh, third issue of Batman vs. Shadow came out. It's freaking oh, awesome. Really? Oh, man. They talk about the con. The Emperor says you need to read that. Yes. Batman vs. the Shadow. You <laughs> must. All right, so we're giving it to Darkwing, right? We're yeah. Darkwing, Darkwing Duck. This. Darkwing Duck. Darkwing motherfucking duck. I liked his mouse electric villain. I think it was named Electrovolt. It's <laughs> <laughs> adorable. <Yeah. laughs> All right, guys, we're going to move on to Imperial Truth or Heresy. Imperial Truth or Heresy is a segment where we take three stories from all around Holy Terra, and one of them is a dirty lie. It's dirty heresy. And I'm going to ask these two, and they're going to do their own, uh, which one is the heresy versus the Imperial Truth. All right, so my first one is Germans build four-mile underground pipeline for beer. For a metal music festival taking place in August. So a four right. mile underground pipeline for beer for a metal music festival. Alright. Next one. Desperate White Rhino joins Tender to find a mate. Profile reads, 
I don't mean to be forward, but the species depends on me. I perform well under pressure. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. A pair of Japanese melons sell for $5,000 at auction. The Yubari cantaloupe are known for its perfect proportions and are only grown in Yambari, Japan. So, we have a pair of Japanese melons sell for five grand. Germans build four mile underground pipeline for beer for a music festival. And desperate white rhino joins Tender to find a mate. I'm gonna have to go with the German beer yeah, festival. Yeah, I'm gonna agree with him. German like beer German festival? Beer like the fest. rhino one sounds suspiciously stupidly true. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. It just sounds like, too fake to too stupid too fake to be fake. Like, no, 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 no. Too stupid to be fake. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. right. Well, you're wrong. Both. Uh, it is the pair of melons. They didn't sell for five thousand. They actually sold for thirteen and a half thousand each, or for both. For the pair. Oh, okay. It's the melons. Yeah. Holy cow. So the beer pipeline's real, my friends. Okay. I'll still continue this. All right. With, first off. Uh, thieves in Everett County blowtorch open an ATM and accidentally torch the money as well. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? <laughs> well, I figured this metal, I could melt it with my blowtorch? Yeah, yeah. That's the way we could get into it. Why don't you melt, melt off the hinges? No, I figured we'd just, just melt. Go in. Yeah, right. a hole. Just a big hole. And then I'll reach in and grab it. All right, up next we have Naked Florida Man masturbates atop an excavator halting highway construction. He thought he was Qui-Gon from episode one. <laughs> well, we know just... which one is a true one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, man is missing after jumping off dam to avoid traffic ticket. Mm. Oh. All right. I'll go over them again. Okay. Uh, man is missing after jumping off dam to avoid traffic ticket. Okay. Naked Florida man masturbates atop excavator halting uh, highway construction. And thieves in Everett County blow torch open an ATM and torch the money as well. Well, the money, that just sounds like any drunk asshole who thought, you know, I'm going to go rob a store. <laughs> um, I had a friend who robbed a convenience store that's right next door to a convenience store. He went to the other convenience store and called a cab and waited there. With the bag of money and gun wow. in his mask in the bag. Yeah, the cops just pulled up and took him away. <laughs> like, okay. All right. Um, so, I believe that one is true. All right. The guy masturbating on top of construction equipment, halting traffic. You, you already know is true. That's got to be true. That's got to be. Um, the guy jumping off the dam, I just see fugitive. I see, like, <laughs> he went into the sewer system, and then, like... A cop was like, I'm just going to give you a ticket. And he's like, <laughs> no, I'm innocent. <laughs> and he just jumps. Oh, my God. Right. You got um, the wrong guy. You know what? I'm going to say that the first one is a lie. I'm going to say the guy didn't jump off a dam to avoid a parking ticket. Because that just seems a little excessive. Yeah, for watch. It's like a bridge. All right. You are actually correct. And so are you. He did jump off a bridge. And it was to avoid a bar tab. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> How drunk did he get? And that's how you get him. You make the story less stupid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how, how drunk did he get? <sighs> how much was that bar tab? Yeah, yeah he's like, fuck this. Ridiculous. Do you think he had the plan the whole time? He's still oh, missing. Man. Poor guy. Well, like, do they know who he is? Yes. They, oh, okay, the shit. The man is missing. He jumped off the bridge and disappeared. Do you think that was his plan? He went there and he's like, all right. And he's looking he's at the bridge. Really drunk he's like it. eating. Jump. Keeps looking at the bridge. He's, he's looks back at the waitress. All right, she's back at the kitchen. There's the bridge. He's maybe timing how long it takes for him to run to the bridge. Awful. This has got to be close to the bridge. Yeah. Where's that confounded bridge? Yeah. Awful. Oh my god. All right. All right. So I have up uh, first. Three men were arrested on charges of cannibalism. They claim that the human flesh cures diabetes type one and two. And depression. All right, hold on. Um, this sounds like one of those urine therapy guys. You know, like the, there's these YouTube guys that get on there and they're like, Ur urine cures everything. And they're like, acne? It's like, you got bad acne, dude. Just splash it on your face. Yeah, just, you just drink it, put it up your nose. and It's a great solvent. You don't just have bad acne, you have pink. 
piss burns on your face. Uh, yeah, all right. So is that is that the best organic can get? Is that the ultimate? Is that where vegan is going? Is yeah, my question. Cannibalism. Cannibalism. Eat a person. I don't think so. You There's are nothing what, more holistic. Well, logically speaking, he's he's right though. But you can't survive on that. That's if you are what you that, eat, you need to eat a person to be a person. <laughs> you don't try true personhood until. <laughs> All right, so next one. All right, next one I've got is, a man stole a car on his birthday. A short while later, he returned the car to the same gas station he stole it from. He was arrested a short distance away from that gas station. (laughs) And And they go after that. They're like, they stole my blue Trans Am. He pulls back up in the blue Trans Am. They're like, is that that stolen blue Trans Am? The guy's walking away. He needed gas. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I need to steal your car yeah, yeah. so I can go get some gas. I promise I'll bring it back. I won't be here. I'll be with the police. Yeah. All right, I'll bring it there. <laughs> All right, what's your All last right. one? All right, last one. A Florida man was arrested for roundhouse kicking his mother, knocking her Jesus out. Jesus Christ, what a horrible... Now, now get this, oh. the, the reason, okay? What a horrible man. He kicked her because she shut off the power after telling him he needed to stop his gaming. So he's playing video games. And she comes in, shuts What's he off. playing? What's he playing that makes him roundhouse kick mom? Overwatch or League. Oh. You roundhouse kicked your mom over Overwatch? It, those are just the best bet. No, those that's yeah. one of the newest ones yeah. out. Yeah. So that, one of the that newest might be ones out. Playing. But dude, you gotta go for like the mass. What about play Zelda? Bets. Is he allowed to mo- uh, roundhouse kick mom for Zelda? No, because it's a portable the game. Yeah, he yeah. Could, he could walk out. He and could play. just pick it up. Yeah, he could be like, "Bitch, pick it up." Yeah, you know? he could go somewhere. He could go to Jeffy's house. All right. Jeffy's a damn garden. Jeffy's a damn garden hose. All right. Um, so to recap, three men were arrested on charges for cannibalism. A man stole a car, brought it back, got arrested. A uh, Florida man Ryan kicked his me. mother <laughs> because of video game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just person. because you, before we filmed, you said a comment about how you could just say make Florida man do anything. And people would believe it. Oh, I'm going to yeah. say Florida man. The You're Florida say man. man? Yeah. I'm going to say number one is untrue. Well, Josiah was right. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. He, he actually I'm a dirty heretic. knocked out his mother with a roundhouse kick because she yelled at him for punching a wall. <laughs> well, she, she's clearly asking for it. <laughs> like, Mom, don't you see how much... What's Power I have in these hands and these feet. Wham! Out, you know, police maybe come. Maybe they were playing. Aggravated assault. Like, maybe oh, they were playing so arms, and it was his only hour to play. Yeah, it was his only hour to play arms. He punched the wall, lost a Joy-Con. She started yelling. He ran house kicked her. Yeah. It's perfectly excusable under those circumstances. Because arms is an amazing game. And they don't let you use your legs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I had all this artwork on <laughs> Some mom, leg exercises. <laughs> it's a leg day, mom. <laughs> what a trash person. Oh. All right. Thank you, Florida man. Well, we've come to the end, my friends. Uh. All the saves have been made. All the witches have been denied. All the scatters have been measured. We've got to change this now. I oh have just God. realized. There's no more scatter die. There's no more scatter die. There's no more. Feel no pain. There's no more challenges. There's no more and they shall know no fear. There's still and they shall know no fear. They still have that rule? Yeah, okay. they still have okay. that rule. All right. Well, all the foes can be smited with the power of smite in yeah. the new 8th edition. Actually, Warhammer. now yes. more foes are going to be smited because everybody gets smite. Everybody gets smite. All right. You get smite and you get smite and they get smite. And are they going to even get to try and roll for the wounds when you have rending mortal? Smite is mortal. Mortal wounds. Oh. You remember Gandalf in the in the Balrog when he smote his ruin oh, upon the mountainside? Yeah. Those those wounds were mortal, my friend. Well, all foes have been smited, I guess. Josiah, what's best in life? Crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and hear the lamentations of their women. I can't believe we're going to rewrite the end. 